In Agile Center of Excellence or LACE in SAFE is the, uh, is the functional group of people who, if you like, ensures that the change and the transformation is on track and keeps evolving and supporting the organization. So how does it support the organization? It could be through tooling, providing the coaches, consultants, training, making sure the right training either internally or externally is provided. So that's what it does. It also potentially has responsibility depending on your context. It also has, if you like, the transformation backlog. You know, what are the things that we need to change? So that's that goes through that. And also it ensures that the learning is shared across the different value streams and different agile release streams. So we don't work in silos. So when we learn it, we can share it. Um, understanding about tooling, reporting, all of those things are part of what, what a Lean Agile Center of Excellence does. Now, again, there are couple of models or two or three models for for uh, for implementing lean agile center of excellence if you're starting you could do with two or three people being part of your your lace and that's fine that that runs fine as the or the the uh, number of agile release trains grow or as the size of the organization grows one agile uh, lace may not be enough and then we've got two three different ways of doing it. You have the hub and spoke, you know, where everything is sort of comes from the center, but then you create bottlenecks and all that. Or you have the distributed model where every, every if you like, uh, area or portfolio has got their own lace and they coordinate. And there are pros and cons for each of those methods, whether you have distributed, whether you're central hub and spoke. Uh, so, you choose the model that is most suitable for you, but typically people start with one uh, lace and grow from that. One of the challenges that everybody has got is what does it do? So some laces, you know, they tooling absolutely reporting, yes, but some of them come out with templates as well. You know, this is what you do. This is how we're going to do it. So every lace is going to be difficult, diff different. But fundamentally, the, the thing that is really important is they are they're guiding the transformation. That's what we're doing. You know, you're guiding that transformation. You are looking at who the influencers are, what are their particular needs are, are they, you know, how do we bring them on board? Where where the pull is. So you typically go for where the pull is, you know, when you want to start for an agile release train, you say, okay. Where do we see people who are interested in trying a new ways of working and, you know, they need to deliver more, better results, faster, better quality. So we go there, we start that, then we show some, you know, we got social proof, if you like, that this is working. Then we need to, as part of LACE, we also need to have a communication plan. So we say, okay, how do we communicate that? How does, how do other people find out about this? Where are the resources? If somebody wants to know, uh, you know, what are the case studies? Those are all kind of what the LACE does, you know, promoting, capturing lessons learned, sharing lessons learned. So it's not like let's just capture it just for a marketing exercise. No, it's about, yes, sharing, you know, capturing and sharing. So that's what they do.